Hi! In this video, we will go through a few ways of creating abbreviation tables in Microsoft Word. Usually, abbreviation tables appear early in the document, just after the table of contents, or at the end, as an appendix. Many style guides also say that the abbreviations have to be in alphabetical order and that they must be described next to their shortened form. So let's see in action how we can create abbreviation tables. The first method is the simplest. You have to go through your work and note each abbreviation down, then put them in a table by hand. This will of course take a lot of time, so experts use a technique to speed it up, which is our second method. In the advanced find dialog, you can input this expression to search for words that are in capital and are at least two letters in length. After finding them, Word will automatically select them for us. Following that, we just need to copy these abbreviations and paste them into an Excel sheet to clean them up. Now that the abbreviations are inserted, we can quickly remove the duplicates because we only need one of each. Following that, we can sort them in alphabetical order, which is very often required by style guides. We have already collected the descriptions in another sheet and filtered out unwanted abbreviations so we can speed things up for this example. Now we have to copy the fields and paste them in Word. Some formatting of the table may still be required, such as adjusting cell or text styles. For this next method, we will use the onStyle add-in. Let's run the create abbreviation table function and let the program collect all the info needed. The base of this function is a large dictionary containing pharma abbreviations, which can be extended or even completely changed. Abbreviations in the table might lack descriptions as they could be not yet stored in the add-in. We can add or remove abbreviations in the preferences. The items you add will get recognized by OnStyle the next time you create an abbreviation table. This method is based on copying an existing list of abbreviations from another document into a new one. If the list is big enough, it should cover most of the document. The only thing left to do is to correct all errors that come with this solution. We have to delete the entries that are actually not in the document, and the contrary, Add the abbreviations that are in the document, but not in the table. Let's run a specific validation in OnStyle to see what's wrong with our abbreviation table. It seems like we have two types of errors, but don't worry, these are expected because the table was copied from somewhere else. The first one lists abbreviations that are in the table of abbreviations, but aren't in the document. Obviously, if an abbreviation is not in the document, it also shouldn't be in the table. There are so many of them that it's better to delete them in batch. Now that this issue is fixed, we can focus on the other one. This module tells us that there are two abbreviations in the document that the table doesn't include. As you can see, these abbreviations are scattered through the document. Let's fix them. If you remember, these abbreviations must be in alphabetical order. When we added two new entries, the table order was changed. We can prove this if we run a new validation. Just as we thought, the table order was changed and an issue is shown. Thankfully, this is an easy fix. It's good practice to revalidate your work if you made changes to it. Thank you for watching this video. If you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, feel free to subscribe to this channel. For additional information and news, visit our website on the link in the description. See you soon!